How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Lifting heavy things over your head is no easy feat and it certainly does not help if other parts of your body aren't cooperating. In this particular case, wrist pain located on the pinky finger side can limit the amount of weight you can hold overhead while squatting. What is this pain caused by? and how can you get rid of it for good? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Despite the fact that pain is coming from your wrists, the actual root of the problem is coming from your forearm muscles. These muscles are packed like sardines and attached to either your medial or lateral side of your elbow, depending on whether the muscle flexes or extends your wrist. Two of these muscles play an important role in deviating the wrist in an ulnar or radial fashion, your flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris. When either of these muscles become stiff or weak, it puts restriction on how far your wrist can deviate. So when you lift a heavy barbell over your head and try to keep your wrists locked and facing upwards, these muscles pull in the opposite direction you're trying to go. This, in combination with increased pressure from the barbell, creates a very unhappy wrist joint, which you then feel as pain. Simply put, the wrist pain that you feel is actually a symptom of poor forearm mobility. So how do you fix this? Let's take a closer look. There are many forearm mobility drills and stretches that you can do to help loosen up your forearm, but based on my experience, I find these two methods to be the most effective. The first move is called the eagle grip stretch. Grab a pole and hold it behind your back with your palms facing in front of you. Hanging onto the pole, bring your arms around to the front until you feel a stretch in the back of both forearms. Adjust the pole height as necessary and hold for about one to two minutes before starting your lift and for 30 to 45 seconds in between sets. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also try hanging eagle grip for an even deeper stretch, but I do not recommend this if you are just a beginner. The other move involves grabbing a lacrosse ball and rolling out the front and back of your forearms. This is key to breaking up some of the fascia and connective tissue surrounding the muscles and enabling greater range of motion during each set. Perform this for about one to two minutes each side before or after your workout for the best results. Wrist flexibility isn't something you can gain instantly, but with enough practice and dedication, you will see noticeable results very soon. How much can you overhead squat? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.